Welcome to the homework for Lesson 7, Module 3, Grade 3. Write your name first, please. And we're matching words on the arrow to the correct equation on the target. So we see the words on the arrow. 7 times a number equals 42. So this is going to say 7 times and a number is going to be n equals 42. That's the equation we're going to be looking for to match this up. And here we have it. Sixty-three divided by a number equals nine. Well, how do you write that in a number sentence? Sixty-three divided by a number, we'll just reuse n for a number, and it equals nine. So where do we see that one? Here it is. Almost done. 36 divided by a number equals 6. How do we write that number sentence? 36 divided by a number, we're using n for a number, equals 6. Right, so that's equals, that's divided by, and that's a number. So that's what we get. We're looking for the 36 divided by n equals 6. That's it right here. And then our last one we know is going to match up. But I'm going to finish it anyway. A number, which is n, times 7 equals 21. Does it match? Yep. Just to make sure, because sometimes they give you ones where they don't all match. Ari sells six boxes of pens at the school store. Each box of pens sells for $7. Draw a tape diagram. Label the total amount of money he makes as M. Write an equation, solve for M. So we have to draw a tape diagram. And we know he sells six boxes. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And each box sells for $7. So there's a seven in every box. Okay, now we're labeling the total amount of money he makes as M. So that's this. There. Now we have to write an equation and solve for M. Well, how many 7s do we have? There's 6 of them. So here's our equation. 6 7s equals M. M equals 42. Avi makes $42. Each box contains six pens. Draw a tape diagram and label the total number of pens as P. Okay, so same situation. This is part two of the same story. So we need a new tape diagram showing that each box has six pens. So instead of $7 in each box, we're going to have six pens in each box. And there are still six boxes. So we need a tape. One, two, three, four, five. That's six parts. And now they're going to have, instead of $7 in each box, I should have labeled the box as one one box up here. One, two, 
on box six pens one box of pens and then the total number of pens is P and write an equation which is six sixes equals P P equals 36 there are 36 pens number three mr. Lucas divides 28 students into seven equal groups for a project draw a tape diagram label the number of students in each group as n write an equation and solve for n so we can draw a tape diagram seven equal groups three four five six the number of students in each group n in this group so this is one each box is one group each group has n students in it And we know that the total number of students is 28. So 28 divided by 7 groups equals n. So there, that's our equation. And now we're going to solve for n. Now, if you're still struggling with, oops, with division, and most third graders probably are, think of this as a missing factor problem. So it's really the same as 7 times something, or 7 times n. It might be easier to think of it as 7 times n equals 28, and then you'd be, oh, that's going to be 4. It might help. Sometimes it's just easier to see it differently and you can remember it. So n equals 4. I just said it. And then our statement is there are 4 students in each group.